All right. The extrude command basically just adds geometry for whatever you're trying to extrude. Let me demonstrate that for you. First, let's turn turn on our heads-up display. Okay. So you can extrude from faces, you can extrude from edges, and you can extrude from curves. Let's start by extruding faces. So let's go into face mode. Okay, now you just pick your face and hit extrude. That easy. Okay, as you see, we created the extra layer of geometry like I was talking about. So let's just pull on that with our manipulator. And there you go. So you're not limited to extruding just once. You can extrude as many times as you want on a face or edge or curve. So hit extrude again and you can just pull. And you know, let's take here, extrude, and you can just pull. So it's really easy to create um, a lot of shapes just by extruding. Let me show you how to do this on an edge. So let's go to edge mode. If we double click, we can select this whole edge. Same thing, let's hit extrude. And you can tell it added that extra layer of geometry. And now we just pull with the manipulator. And there we have it. Now, if you want to undo what you've done with the extrude, you're going to have to undo twice. So remember this. The first time you undo, Control Z, we are undoing the manipulation. Uh, the second time we undo, we're going to be undoing the extrusion. See? So let me show you that again. Uh, let's do two non adjacent faces. Hit extrude and pull out. Okay, so we need to undo twice. Control Z to undo the manipulation. And even though you can't see it, you have to undo one more time to undo the extrude. There we go. Okay, now let me show you how to do this on a curve. So, really simply, just grab a rhino curve. and we just select it and hit extrude. What T-splines will do is T-splines will take your rhino curve and convert it to a T-spline automatically for you. And so since we already hit extrude, we just need to pull and there we have it. Once you feel a little bit more comfortable with extrude, you can do it all in one step using the hotkey Alt. So let's let me demonstrate that for you. So let's double click here, select the edge, hold down Alt, and you'll see it automatically creates that that layer of geometry and you can just pull. Uh, we can do that again, hold down Alt, and then pull. Now if you want to undo uh, what you just did, same thing, you have to undo it twice. And this will save you a lot of headache if you remember this. Because even though it seemed like just one step, you're actually doing two. So control Z once. And that undoes the manipulation when we pulled on that. And the second time we undo, we're going to undo this extrusion. Okay, let's do that one more time. Control Z. We're undoing the manipulation. And the second time we do control Z, we undo this extrude. Okay. And that is the extrude command.